Well, here it is, guys, the long-awaited suspension wheel we've all been dying to see. The Gotway X is finally here. Let's see what this Gotway suspension is all about. Coming alive! Whoa. Now I'm going to go over to Red Hook and we're going to do a few speed runs. I'm going to go balls to the wall and just kind of see how far we can push it, see where we get the first beeps at, you know, full send. Let's do it. I can tell you running over to Red Hook over here is a bunch of bumpy uh, walkways and bike paths and streets, so I'll get a really good sense and hopefully you can see it on camera how well this thing handles the bumps. It, let's just see if it takes the edge off. Man, what a breeze that feels like on cobblestone. So nice. All right, so right about here is where we finished off our drag race about a year ago now. Uh, we started over on the Ikea Pier, but we finished off right here. So I'm going to do some runs here. It's kind of straight, kind of bumpy, kind of hilly, but it's all right. It's, it's somewhere in the middle. It's not crazy bumpy. It's not crazy flat. But uh, it'll give me a good idea about how fast I can go on this thing. Let's see if we can go till beeps. Okay, I got darkness spot connected, and we're just going to go down the straight run and see how fast we can push it till we hit the beeps. And then I'll take a look at darkness spot. Here we go. Oh, all right. Hope you can see this. You can't. <laughs> I did 39, and I definitely hit some beats. Um, all right. Go. We tapped 40. We tapped 40. I think uh, you can't see it on the app. Uh, so we tapped 40 there. I think that's probably about the top end. I mean, the lift speed test on this thing is 50. So I think 40 is probably your top end. I'm sure the crazier guys than me will go higher than that. Uh, but I'm not willing to go higher than 40 on this wheel. I got the first beeps at about 38. On this pre production model, I'm not going to go past 40 for now. <laughs> All right guys, so we're here at the infamous hill, the Watchtower Hill here in Brooklyn. This is the same hill that I did a test for the MSP. Uh, I've got the X down here. Obviously, this is the X video. Uh, we're gonna start at the bottom with the manhole like I did last time and go right up to the fire hydrant. And then my buddy Julian who's behind the camera here. He's gonna time it for me. We'll do like maybe three or four runs and see how it fares. Hypothesis, I think it might be a tad slower because this is an insanely heavy wheel. It's 85 pounds or so. Uh, compared to the MSP, that's a lot heavier. All right, so let's dive right into it. Let's do it. That's crazy. Let's get this up so we're uh, safe. Now you can see how annoying it is to get this thing on. All right, so 
As my hypothesis stated, I felt like it was going to be a little bit slower than the MSP, and it definitely felt that way. Uh, going up the hill, it felt like it had a lot of power to give, uh, for sure. We're going to check the footage here in a second and see how it is, and I'll show you guys the screenshot of how fast each of the runs were. I did four runs. Uh, I felt like I was a little skittish at first on maybe the second or third run. I was kind of like coming from the Sherman. I was afraid to push it at low end, but this thing has no problems with that. Unlike the Sherman, this wheel, you can push it. You can Michael Jackson lean from zero. It's got a lot of power. I mean, obviously it's got a giant motor in it. Um, but as far as getting up the hill, I didn't feel wanting. I didn't feel any issues of it just not having enough power. And it's not like the MSX, which I'll show you guys a comparison of the MSX, MSP in this, on this hill. Uh, the MSX, you gotta really push and you feel like uh, it might give out. This, it's rock solid. It's like just enough speed to, to where you don't notice it. Uh, so it's a really good hill climber. So if you're in a hilly area, like don't, don't fret. This is not gonna be a problem despite the weight, but we'll see here in a minute. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little bit slower uh, than the MSP getting up the hill. seconds off that's a lot is it that's a lot is it in the racing world two seconds around the entire track is like a lifetime that's huge okay so i just checked the video of the msp video on my phone here just to see how it stood up we check the numbers here uh 1695 was the msp and what did we get on uh 1535 1535 my hypothesis is wrong I was able to pull off something even faster, but you know what? Thinking about it, I think this is a, a stronger, yeah, this is definitely a stronger motor. Your money is going somewhere, guys. <laughs> this motor will get you up the hill faster. Man, it just must be in my head. I just kept <laughs> thinking this thing is a heavy boat and it's not getting up the hill, but hey, we beat the MSP up the hill. I could not film this real quick. So there you have it. It is faster than the MSP up Watchtower Hill here in Brooklyn. I just want to take a quick second to shout out the sponsors of this video. That would be eWheels.com and MyEwheel.com. If you guys don't already know, Jason over at eWheels, um, they service North America, so that would just be the United States and Canada. So if you're looking for a good distributor, a good dealer, um, hit them up. Um, and over in Europe, we have MyEwheel.com. Um, Andre is the guy over there and uh, good people. If you're looking to buy a unicycle in Europe, hit them up. Now that that business is out of the way, let's get back to the motor. This motor is 3,500 watts. I think it, to date, is the biggest motor that I've ridden. I think it's bigger than, yeah, it's bigger than my Sherman motor. And there's a few things about it that are really interesting. Number one, as we just saw, it beat an MSP up the hill, which is the other sort of high torque machine that I took up that hill. This motor is very powerful. It's not gonna leave you wanting. It's gonna give you a lot of delivery on whatever you ask of it. I was pretty much Michael Jackson leaning from zero trying to get up that hill. I think the same would apply if you're on a flat land. And equally, I think that it's giving you some good stopping power as well. The acceleration is probably akin to somewhere between an MSX and a Nikola, or, in, or I guess in between an MSP and a Nikola. The MSX is defunct now, right? We've, re we've retired the MSX. And overall, it's a really agile wheel. Like, you can kind of see in the footage there that I can crank that thing. I can carve it left and right, and it's, it's not gonna have any issues. However, I will say that because it's a Gotway wheel and the way it's designed, it is it does give the impression like it's a top-heavy wheel. I think it has a lot to do with how high it is off the ground and how much weight you have going on there. So it sort of makes it top-heavy. There's not a lot of negative to say about the wheel. Hey look, our brothers in arms. Love what you do, Elon.
All right, let's talk about the amenities. Uh, number one, you have a trolley handle in the middle this time. Um, it's pretty flimsy. It works, but I would argue it's more annoying than the MSX uh, trolley handle in the back. At least that one you can have a whole grip on. You don't feel like 85 pounds are going to run away from you. I kind of get that from here. Uh, so, you know, there's some play in it, but it is what it is. You know what? I think this is a big enough wheel you might not trolley it all that much anyways. But it would be a real pain to be in the Nike store trying to trolley this thing around. The light on the front, which has a daytime headlamp, and then there's also a regular headlight. The light's fairly bright. Uh, another part is the Sherman. Um, it doesn't feel as bright as the MSP, to be honest. Um, but this is a cool design, I guess, with the daytime headlamp. Uh, there's no lights on the side either, so if that's what you're into, well, they don't have it. Sorry about that. Uh, the other thing is, of course, these are magnetic as usual, but I just have the Clark pads on here, so they kind of lock up under the Clark pads. Uh, and there is, I don't know if it's free or for purchase, but there is a uh, uh, mud guard here. I couldn't get it up in there because I'm a noob or something. Uh, so it's kind of half in there right now. Oh, and then there's speakers inside, and the speakers are pretty loud. I would argue they're probably some of the loudest speakers on the market, um, but, you know, it's up to you. But I think you're not going to have any problems uh, hearing yourself on the street or hearing your music or whatever. When uh, last but not least, the lift sensor, which works pretty good, but since this is a very heavy wheel, lifting it up my stairs, I had to use both hands and my leg tilted on its side, and when that happens, the sort of, like, uh, 40 degree angle cutoff thing comes into play. It starts beeping at you, which is very annoying. So if you live in a walk-up, this might not be a good choice for you, but either way, the lift sensor is great. I'll show you. But again, you're lifting 85 pounds in the air. All right, so time for my final thoughts on this wheel. The Gotway X. Everyone has been asking me, why are you calling it the X? Is it not the EX? I don't know, maybe. But I like to think in my head that behind the scenes, Gotway was mad that certain employees left and went and started veteran. And so it's like an ex-girlfriend that left them and that's why they call the next wheel the X. And it's okay, I'm just in my own world. That's just, that's, that's where I put it. That's why they call it that. So I call it the X, like your ex-girlfriend. But, by no means is that a bad thing. Um, overall, I think it's a fantastic wheel. I think the X will be perfect for anybody who is looking for a Gotway wheel with high performance. It's gonna take the edge off of those bumps, which is basically what we all were wishing we had when we all tried out the S18 and the V11. So again, if you're the guy who's doing massive, longer range, higher speed street riding, uh, and you were just looking for something just to take the edge off, just to, make those potholes and those asphalt drifts not so brutal, this is great for you. The only big trade-off is the weight. It is an insane amount of weight. It's heavier than my Sherman. And I do think for certain people that will be a big deal breaker, it will be a big trade-off, but you gotta decide for yourself. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the suspension really quick. Um, the suspension is just typical Gotway, right? It's just brute force, raw power with no nuance. I mean, that's, that's, it fits the mold perfectly. Where what we've seen in the past with the S18 and the V11, you have more options. You have a rebound knob, and then you also have a negative fill chamber. With this, you just have one small chamber whose travel is not as much. The travel is like the size of the inner uh, hollow bore motor. I don't know what that is in millimeters. Uh, but the whole point is you don't have any nuance to adjust it at all. So the rebound is sort of on the slower side, which is better than being on the faster side because then you'd get launched in the air. You just shove air into that thing and see if it works out for you. Gotway really kind of nailed it in a Gotway way. Like I wish there was a better suspension system on it. it it's kind of idiot proof. It's, it's gonna do what it needs to do. So if this interests you, Go ahead and find some links down below to go head over and set a pre-order or I'm sure Ewells will be the first ones to have a pre-order link down below. I can't wait to make more videos with the Gotway X. But thank you so much for watching and uh, comment, like, subscribe down below. And as always, keep riding, never stop. Okay, cool. It's on Instagram, right? Yeah. Okay. My Instagram is
Alright, so let's do the